September 11, Friday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus told His disciples a parable Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both of them fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher But when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord Every disciple will be like his teacher. The rabbis of the Old Covenant pointed to Moses as the head teacher, thus their instructions were mere interpretations of the Mosaic Law. The Ten Commandments summarized the Covenant Law, but minute details and prescriptions evolved, touching various levels of society. Certain statutes and precepts applied for the priestly class, and others for the ordinary citizens. The standards for the norms and ethics were based on the Mosaic law. The laws were reciprocal. The law expected compliance for every right and privilege was a corresponding punishment for its transgression. The Lord protected those who were faithful to the covenant, but God chastised those who were unfaithful. Jesus sees differently through the eyes of the benevolent lawgiver. Instead of simply punishing the offender, Jesus searches for ways to redeem the loss and to restore the dignity of the person to his original state. Such is the method of Jesus as supreme teacher. He instructs on the right way. He redeems what is lacking and he restores what is lost. He even puts his person as payment or atonement for sins.